Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Octopath Traveler. Joining me is Star Princess HLC. Okay, so no Chrono Cross Dock. How about Clock Tower 3? Oh dear god. See, I don't know <laughs> anything about Clock Tower 3. I know one. I never watched, played, or otherwise looked at Clock Tower 3. Oh boy. <laughs> so that one doesn't bother me because I'm ignorant of that one. And J.K. Lantern. I am currently hallucinating the taste of onion rings. Is it from the one place you showed me? Actually, I'm more hallucinating the taste of the ones from Philly Homa, which are like the size of my head. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Onion rings the size of your head. We mm. get a couple places that do that around here. None of which I go to because it always feels like I'm going to die after I eat there. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, you you're missing the fundamental point of them being pirates. Mm-hmm. Because pirates... Bitch, you're a Pokemon trainer and also a cab. Eh. <laughs> they, they competed because they admired each other, so... So maybe it was... Whatever the equivalent of the beauty pageant was. Sky love! <laughs> it's much <laughs> like you and Ali! There you go, Tressa. I was going to say, Olberic probably sees a very close kin, very close uh, correlation between yeah. those two pirates and his rivalry with Earhart at least a very long time ago. Yep. So, yeah. It couldn't be. And, of course, he who has consumed all knowledge would know this. Yes. That's called an acid trip, Cyrus. Very possible, yeah. Is that a <laughs> malaria? <laughs> Don't worry, they have pills for everything now. Yeah. Yes, they do. That where it's radioactive enough and what you see is the you know, your you know, the light at the end of the tunnel and you get to revisit your entire life because you're dying. That that's a possibility. If no one has seen it, how do they know it ex uh the bag of Now I'm just flashing back to that one part in the Santa Claus. You ever seen a million dollars? No. Just because you haven't seen it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Okay, I got to assume combat is a common. Yep. Unfortunately, because of the way combat is a common. Damn, we don't get our most kick ass people. N well, we still have Haunted. True. And Alfin is pretty freaking versatile. He absolutely is. So, just this thief. Got it. 
Cleric. You need something. What do I want to have you do? Yeah, might as well do. Oh, no, you are a scholar. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't have anybody doing the dancing stuff. I might need. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my god, Elfin's staff is a sledgehammer. That, that is perfect. Yes, yes it is. I wanna be. Switch I mean, considering and... he can either hobble you or he can amputate. It's your choice. I, I remember seeing a D and D joke about there are two types of dwarves. <clears throat> There's the axe dwarf and the hammer dwarf. And if you have a hammer dwarf, you never have need for a rogue because you have a built-in set of set of thieves tools. <laughs> yeah. Probably should look, shouldn't I? Okay, everybody has skills. Okay. And before we leave, just so I'm not juggling, juggling all the, uh, skill points and such. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we must leave town. You are seeing that, right? I This is the orphanage. I actually did do the uh, challenge to had old Beric beat down the matron there to get inside at one point. Yes! I think the response was, Dear God, why? <laughs> because old Beric. As opposed to the, the way that orphans react in Skyrim, where they're cheering because their caretaker was an absolute bitch. Yeah, well, you know. May I have this dance? Crabby! Oh, good, it's more crabbies. Come in, if thou darest. Yeah. I should actually use Crabby in a Pokemon game. Nope, no one's weak to that. Here we go. Oh, the Krabbies are not weak to that. Let's do this. Also, this is only a level 33 area, so we're kind of, um... Yeah. Overpowered might be the right word for this. Mwahaha. I'm ready. Does Tressa have a nice ponytail now? Your kind of. I didn't think she had that much hair. Well, it's all under the hat. What if it's not a hat? What if it's just a weird hairdo? You mean like that one... thing? <laughs> when I put Is your it like Prince Quickie's hairdo? <laughs> all right. I was thinking of like that time I put Lantern's picture through like... some kind of weird... Uh, Is it cold in here? Like... Photoshopping maker thingy, and some reason his 
his his hat turned into his hair. Huh. It was the weirdest the damn it. thing. I distinctly remember there was one I showed off. He was like silently staring at it for two minutes before screaming, WHAT THE HELL AM I LOOKING AT?! <laughs> Did you ever see the, when, I don't know if it's still up or not, but it was called the Deep Dream Pictures? Oh, that. Isn't it they just all basically right. put a bunch of eyes all over the place? What it it seemed like it. I am ready. That was not what I meant to do, but oh well. Hey, none, nothing I've hit with has actually done jack to these, as far as breaking them. Well, that's because Krabby is something. invincible. Letting my arrow fly Finally found through. something there. So wait, shiny Krabby isn't green. It's my turn now. Hmm. And to be fair, I'm still annoyed that shiny Kecleon isn't purple. I am... They had it in the freaking anime episode. They couldn't... It, it, I'm JK Lantern, and I'm currently angry at Pokemon. That's fair. They, they should have made Kecleon purple. Finally found a second weakness for them. Here goes nothing. A water type that hates electricity. Who would have thought? Yeah. Let the thunder roll. You are still not Garth I'm Brooks. Ready. <laughs> or Thor. May the sacred shine forth. Oh my god. We're about to kill a playable character from Chrono Cross. Yay! <laughs> I hated that guy anyway. At least he's not as bad as Turnip. Or as bad as Poshul. Nothing is as bad as Poshul. Nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry, Poshul is secretly the bad guy <laughs> of every game thing. ever. What next? And you can't convince me otherwise. I would assume that would be Pip. <laughs> Considering Pip can turn into a, like either an angel or a devil, depending on what elements you give it. No, go. no, Pip is Pip is just that one really bad old uh, MySpace post. Every 13 or 14 year old girl would post up saying, I can be your angel or your devil. Yes. That, that's him. That's Pip. Scorch the earth. People just do not want to be weak to anything I'm using. And it's very annoying. War pigs. Letting the hunt begin. I am ready. Watch me now. Let yourself be healed. Bring it on! Let's get down to work! Scorch the earth! Ha! <laughs> Try again! I 
I am fully aware I could be using, you know, the analyze skill to get weaknesses and such, but I would rather just punch things in the face. Honestly, that's an effective way of doing it. Um, Where are we going now? We're not much higher level. Tress's Chapter 3 is not a challenging one yet. I mean, it might get there at some point. Is that a path? No. It does have nice, pretty waterfall. But is there a treasure chest behind the waterfall? Oh, Probably. How cliche. I keep expecting her to say bitches at the end of it. <laughs> All right. I don't think Tress is capable of swearing. You never know. Yeah. Now I learned the thunder. I am ready. I learned a new word from Primrose today, everybody. <laughs> I heard Alfin say a nice long string of words after he smacked his thumb with the hammer. <laughs> Nighthood, bring your shade. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> well, technically, that's not exactly a dirty word. At least not the traditional dirty in dirty words. Blow them away. No good. The show is over. Beginning. Why does the skeleton have a cowboy hat on? Yeehaw! I mean, it's just skeleton with a cowboy hat. Oh, okay. Because cowboys are absolutely a thing in this setting. Actually, in um. So he was going right. down south for some home style ribs. By the look of that skeleton, I'd say someone had his ribs. I'm ready. You, you know, it could be worse. It could be a skeleton clown. Coming if thou darest. No, <laughs> no, it couldn't. <laughs> That's why we just get him some nice spaghetti. <laughs> Anyone who doesn't know anything about Chrono Cross is so confused right now. My turn now. I mean, we should prefer the uh, the straw doll that's clearly made for cultist purposes. L Lucky Dan, he's great. <laughs> Why do they keep referencing? Cr Why do they keep referencing Chrono Cross? We don't know. <laughs> I can tell you exactly why they keep referencing Chrono Cross. 
because it physically hurts me and they enjoy this. <laughs> I can tell you what Chrono Cross needed. Actual writers? <laughs> no, that that too. That would have that would have helped. Here I go. Do you know what Chrono Cross really needed? I'm eager to hear where this is going. No, you're not. I'm ready. Chrono Cross needed a paladin to cure scurvy. That's what Chrono Cross. Actually, I think, I think that's just Glenn. Could be. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's just Glenn. Or do you mean Greco? Because he was the, you know, sumo re he was the luchador priest. That, that is the greatest character in anything ever, and I will stand by that. <laughs> Just because it's so ridiculously Counterpoint. Stupid. It's in Chrono Cross. <laughs> it's a psychic luchador priest. Counterpoint. Still Chrono Cross. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, that, that's definitely a concept that deserves to be in something other than Chrono Cross. Let's yes. Where it, where it can be properly developed. By which I mean, where it can actually be developed. That I feel would fit in Guacamelee. Yeah. Definitely. That you like with Guacamelee, you're already wow. halfway there. Yeah. You got the like, I could stuff. make 15 D&D &D characters based on that concept. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it would not be difficult. Let yourself be healed. Here we go. Yes. Scorch the earth. Like there are actual good character ideas in Chrono Cross. Unfortunately, <laughs> they're in Chrono Cross, so none of them get developed. Every single one. No, just any potential anything has in Chrono Cross just dies. But on that note, it's time to call it a video. So when we return, I, I might actually find my way through the rest of this freaking cave. I missed a turn somewhere. Anyway, until then, take care, everyone. Later. Bye-bye.